Earth Angels, Melanie Buckler here with our angel card reading. A few of the things that we have going on this week are, of course, the 1111 Gateway. You can check out my new 1111 activations at angelactivation.com. And we're going to now dive right in using the Ascension Angel cards, tuning in. What will most serve? Our first card jumped out. There is our second card, and our third card is appearing right there. Our first card is the Quiet Your Ego Mind card. This card brings an important message and reminder that we are in this phase of the ascension process of living life on Earth where there are two concurrent streams of energy of mental focus. One current is the current of fear and insecurity, the current of the lower ego mind, the part of you that wants to become outraged by what's happening in the world, to dive into the dramas of life, and to ultimately get tossed around in this storm of chaotic energy that is very real and is present on the earth here and now. But the other current that is available to you that with this card the angels are saying you can choose to quiet your ego mind, to drop your awareness down into resonance with the warmth within your open heart where you can tune in to the higher octave, the higher current of love and peace and divine blessings, where you begin to see the miracles of beauty all around, where you see the possibilities, the opportunities, the beauty and the light. This isn't a spiritual bypassing thing where you're seeking to avoid or ignore the struggles of the 3D world. Rather, it's witnessing the struggle and the chaos happening around and choosing to observe it from a higher vantage point and perspective. And by being in that higher vantage point and perspective, connected to the light of love, your inner core of light and truth, brightly shining, empowers you to receive. Clear guidance and inspiration as to what you can do to truly make a difference, to remedy that chaotic energy in the world that you're so wrapped up in to respond to the hardship by anchoring the light of peace and bliss and truth. A tool to quiet your ego mind is to just begin writing to purge and dump that chaotic energy that's spiraling around in your mind. And then as you write, write out whatever's going on, just get it out and let it flow, but then consciously choose to shift and begin to write the things you're grateful for. Shift your perspective, shift your mental energy, trajectory jump to tune into gratitude, to begin to focus on with your ego mind, the current of blessings, of joy, of light that is available to you. And that when you focus on that gratitude empowers you to cut through the density and distortion and illusion to receive the divine guidance and the light codes available to you so you can profoundly shift. Now, the other piece of this that's just direct coming in, an impression I'm being guided to share, is that now is the time to trust the guidance of your heart rather than the chatter of your mind trust, the inner pull, the inner calling 
to do what excites and enlivens you and lights you up, to recognize that if you're bored or feeling drained in your life, it's probably that you're following someone else's vision for your life. You're trapping yourself in this confine and box that is just illusion and you can ultimately choose to set yourself free, to let the restrictions and blockages melt and fade away by rekindling the inner warmth of light and bliss and truth and letting that shine so bright that it illuminates your entire surroundings, rippling out to benefit all those in your life, yes, but also illuminating that which is in resonance with your inner core of love, bliss, and truth, highlighting the highest and best next steps on your divine path and highest trajectory, let the clear guidance flow through and then take a step to act in alignment with this now. Our second card is a beautiful reminder to connect with nature, to remember that nature, earth, all that is is undergoing this ascension process along with you and can be a powerful, profound ally for helping to balance out that mental chaotic energy. It's been scientifically proven that spending time in nature is so healing for not only your mental, mental body, but your physical form and your emotional well-being as well. Get out into the natural world and just tune in to the underlying divine harmony and bliss written in the code of creation, witnessed in the patterns of trees, the patterns of leaves of the earth. Tune into that. Know that that will help you come into crystalline coherence and sync with the divine blueprint for your highest embodiment as a divine light in physical form, as a divine physical being, anchoring your highest light into earth now. There are forces of negativity, there are forces of distortion that desire to keep you out of the flow, out of the sync of receiving the higher light of spirit and anchoring it into your physical life now. Nature is an ally for keeping you in balance so you can have the willpower and to remember that it is ultimately your choice in the moment to shift. And you can choose to step back into the perspective of the observer to observe whatever it is you're doing. So you're walking and you're able to observe that yes, you are walking, but you are also the one who is observing you walking. And that perspective of observer is the vantage point and presence that when you're in, you're open to the transmission of divine light codes, the blessings of the infinite. This card shows an incredible amount of light streaming in around the full moon, around the 1111 gateway that you can tune into. And our third card is that there is an immense waterfall of divine love streaming in. It's up to you to reach up and to tune into it, to invite it in, to let it in. The rainbow, diamond light codes of higher spiritual energy are streaming onto the planet, supporting you if you allow, if you open to it, if you embrace it, the light will support you in elevating your frequency. I've never noticed in this card, but right here, there's like a threshold, a glass ceiling. This week is an opportunity to move through that threshold, to move through the glass ceiling, to move beyond the insecurities and fears and blockages that ultimately are grounded in illusion and that when you let them fall away, you can receive the higher influx of divine guidance and radiant truth that is available to you to light up your core, to reconnect you with the current of guidance 
the clear stream of divine love that offers healing on every level that when you resonate with this, with this warmth and peace and bliss and harmony, as a result, you are manifesting bright blessings because you're aligning with the highest trajectory, the highest divine path, and the highest and best of what is in store. So that is our reading for this week of 1111. Again, I have profound 1111 gateway activations channeled with the Council of Light. Check those out at angelactivation.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Have a beautiful magical week riding the waves of light, tuning in to that higher octave current of energy that is in sync with the forces of divine love. All right, see you in the next video.